Moderator, Wabi Tony, Distinguished Friends, Fellow Nation. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, salam reformasi. Manajun, Daja Hao. Terima kasih. Just a few things to add. Is pakatan rakyat sustainable? I am a, not just an optimist. I am a relentless optimist. And there is no option to us. We have just got to do it. This country has gone to the block. And I don't need preaching you on that. I'm not just facing converts here. I don't be preaching to the preachers. After the last March 2008 election, what has happened is simply this. I kept telling, wherever I drama, I say this. The last March 2008 victory wasn't the victory of three opposition parties. It wasn't about the victory of PKR, DAP and PAS alone. Indeed, the victory is about the victory of the coalition of three races, three cultures, and three main religions of this country. And this is the new emerging politics coming in. We have come a long way in a short while. And with this in place, I must say that this Pakatandra, which is a post coalition phenomenon, by the way. We were all on our own before the election. <laughs> and why I say Pakatandra is going to be sustainable is because of the rocket. Yes. It's because of the expectation and hope and vision of you that we have got to make our Pakatandra sustainable. If you see into the eyes of the brother, and especially from where I come from, from Palestine, rural, there are poor Malays, there are poor Indians in the state, and there is one old Chinese uncle who is living under the bridge of Palestine in a place called home. And for all these years, and we are about one of the most resource per capita nation, one of the richest resource per capita nation on earth. And yet, if you look into this abject poverty, it's just unbelievable. And an economist in the age, right after Dun stepped down in April 2004, said this in, in his column. And it's from Morgan Stanley, Singapore based. I still remember his name, Dan And he wrote, for the last 22 years, hundred billion. USD, the equivalent of 360 billion RM, went to the dream because of the various practices of chromism, bordering corruptions in the way this country is managed. And after Bala took over, I don't think we have gone any better, perhaps much worse off. And now we talk about one bridge. KPIs, KRA, whatever, have you. KPIs cannot, cannot be measuring leadership. What it could do is just to have to say we will bring down corruption, uh, the street crimes by 20%. 
what they promise are just percentage and numbers of which they pledge to do in the six key result areas. What they cannot do is essentially to bring forth a leadership that will, that will be accountable, a leadership that will be transparent, a leadership that will really bring about true and real reform that the rakyat are all waiting for to this day. And because of that, Pakatan has got to be sustainable. I believe in the new politics, and the new politics is not about politics of Pakatan. The new politics is about the people empowering themselves. Because democracy is at the end of the day, voters making informed decisions. And our rakyat and our voters are now truly experiencing what is known as the enlightened era after the new enabling media of the new media of the alternative media, both online and offline. And because of this new media, bloggers like our good hero, Raja Petra, Goro, the whole range of that, Rocky Brooms, not the least our brother YB20, they are not a big thing. And they are now truly enlightening, enlightening the right. And because of this new media, we have this new politics. And the new politics is actually the politic of the citizen, the politic of the civil society organizations, the politics of NGOs and as well NGIs like many of you, non-governmental individuals, who may not be partisan to any party, but only partisan to truth, justice, and the well-being of this nation. And because of that, we are now seeing a new emergence of a new politics. And that politics is about finally putting in place what is known as the two-party or the two-coalition politics of the new Malaysia. And because of that, you will have always a choice. And for that reason, Pakatan Raya couldn't as well with power corrupts and absolute power corrupt absolutely. We will see a new politics where the riot will have a choice. For all these 50 over years they have been given it. They have been giving it to Barisan National. For now, sorry, you have overstayed your welcome. <laughs> we are not so anxious to get over to Kuchujaya. We know running four states alone is such a tall, wondrous task. But because, as I said earlier, that this country is really going to the top. But the brother, if they are looking at us, and the reason why I say there is no choice for Pakatan, say to pull ourselves together into a viable, sustainable Pakatan so that we really face the Barisan National next time round, and this time round, we are hopeful for a victory at the federal level.
the way we articulate our political agendas, certainly you would have to be quote unquote playing to the gallery of the day Muslim. But right now, may I say this? That we have understand the Malaysian politics a lot better.